Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the validation rule and the validation text properties in tandem. Setting the validation rule property allows you to use the expression builder dialog box to create a specific condition that will only allow data entry that meets the specified condition into the field. For example, you could specify that field entries for a birth date field cannot be a future date. Once the rule is in place, you then type the error message that you want access to display when an entry doesn't meet the specified criteria into the validation text property. To set a validation rule on a selected field, you must enter an expression, which is much like an Excel formula, into the validation rule property. You can either type it into the box by hand or you can use the Expression Builder dialog box to assist you in creating the rule. To use the Expression Builder, click into the property field and then click the ellipsis mark button that appears at the right end of the field to open the Expression Builder dialog box. Here you can use the buttons and functions listed in this dialog box to create your validation rule. Just click the OK button in the Expression Builder when you are finished to insert the rule you created into the property field. To then set what error message the user will see when they enter a value that violates the validation rule, click into the validation text property and type the text that you want to display into that box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.